Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. This is my weekly show where you find out what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week I crushed out three more units for A Song of Ice and Fire, uh, some Boltons and some Starks, and I also got some stuff assembled for the Hellboy board game, um, as well as some beautiful mecha miniatures from Immortal Kings. So let's take a look at what's uh, gotten done this week and what is coming up. So thing the first here is the done pile, 36 miniatures, three units for A Song of Ice and Fire. I finished off my Bolton Cutthroats, um, which rounds out my 40 point list for Boltons, Double Flayed Men, uh, Bastards Girls, and uh, this unit with, uh, who is it? I've got uh, Varus and Peter Baelish, and then NCU Roos leading everything, or I can also take, because um, it's zero points, but I have one less activation then, uh, Ramsey and Theon as my commander. And I also finished some Cranog Trackers, great little skirmisher unit um, with some janky shoot tactics that unlock a lot of cool stuff in the Howlin' Reed tactics deck too for the Starks. Um, I've been using Reed a lot because he gives you another activation because he is an NCU uh, commander and his deck is pretty sweet. And then finally, uh, the legendary Umber Great Axes. They're the, the unit deleter of this game. Um, they have a attack where when they hit you and you fail a save, you have to make another save. So if you uh, couple them with a Sworn Sword Captain, and they have Sundering too, you um, you force people to reroll all their successful saves. So you run in, eight attacks, hit on threes, minus one save, reroll all your successful saves, and then make another round of saves, reroll all your successful saves because you become vulnerable. It's pretty sweet. So there it is, 36 more models out of the paint pile for this year. Um, two Stark units and then a neutral unit that is part, of course, of my Bolton list and also can add to my my, my, well, any of my armies, they're neutrals. Everybody that's not free folk basically can take these guys. So it is, um, 36 models, and uh, let's see what's being worked on. So thing, the first, here's my Hellboy board game miniatures, uh, all sprayed up and then airbrushed. So I got some frogmen, big tentacle monster, Rasputin, some frogs, and then the BPRD. You get Liz, Abe, um, the, the big red himself, and I can't remember the smoke guy professor's name. <laughs> I don't, off the top of my head, I can't remember. Uh, and then you get 12 frogmen, some frog swarms, a giant frog, and tentacle monster. Because you got to have a tentacle monster if it's going to be Hellboy. Uh, I'm pretty jazzed about this. It's a one to four player game, so I'll be doing lots of play in the next couple weeks once all the stuff's painted. Uh, I basically need to get at least two of the heroes done, and then all the frogmen, the frog spawn, and the giant frog. And I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, and yes, yeah, so there it is. There's my, my current work on the Hellboy board game. And then next up, I assembled these wonderful 3D printed designs from Immortal Kings, um, a mecha like design 3D printing service. Um, it's uh, Immortal Kings minis. They're, they'll get a feature in Witches Wonders probably once these guys are painted. Um, but they're going to be featured in Gamma Wolves, which is pretty cool. And uh, they're going to be doing uh, they, the, the actual designs, I believe, are going to be for sale for all of these in STL. And then also you can um, get them printed. So if you're not a 3D printer person, you can actually have access to these. There's a couple heavies in here, this big cool guy who's got a giant autocannon, some missiles, and like a big shoulder-mounted laser. Um, some medium-sized troopers with big autocannons and explodey frag launchers on their, their bodies. Uh, and then this bruiser, another heavy frame with big big riot shield and a big hammer and stuff. I have the arms blue tacked on for now because I'm going to get airbrushed and sprayed and big rock and roll. And there's another one of these guys with a big axe that I'm still working on cleaning up um, just the uh, the support bits from and then, then getting airbrushed and stuff too. So I'm super excited about these. I'm waiting on some bases from uh, Death Ray Design so I can get them based off, at least the, the bodies and stuff, um, and just mounted to make them a little more sturdy because uh, I don't want to chip the paint and stuff when I'm handling them. So this gives me a, a nice grip to hang on to them with. Uh, and yeah, I'll get some paint on these because I'm, I'm super excited about them. They're really cool designs and, uh, and they're going to be a lot of fun to paint, I think. And last but not least, my Spiral Quarry packs here. So I'm going to be painting up some uh, mercenary Tohas to go with my Tohas. I might just start them from scratch. <laughs> I need to get new specialists. I might just do the bases fairly similar, so like not the same deck plating I have on my Toha. Um, but like still in like a brown and stuff like that, like a an indoor outdoor thing, or maybe just put some patches of tech stuff on them. I'm not sure yet. So they'll be like they'll be a different basing style, but like transitioned in, so they're enough enough like that that they could use some of the miniatures from my old army, um, but still different because they're gonna have this new sort of teal and white and beige color scheme probably going forward. So I'm pretty jazzed about them. New faction for Infinity we're playing, um, and it'll complement my Toha. Huh? So there you go, another 36 miniatures uh, done and dusted and on the books. For 2019, I'm pushing 200 at this point. No, I'm pushing 300 at this point. 
which is pretty good because we're in May. <laughs> so we're a third of the year done, and I'm not, if I'm over, if I'm close to 300, I'm close to my goal because I need to get 900-ish done for the year because it's 886, I think it's my goal. So getting close to 300 is a good thing. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we'll actually do. So we'll see you next week for more on the paint table. You can check out Widgets and Wonders tomorrow. Till next time, I'm Ash. Have a great evening. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to so get notifications of when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.